Welcome to VehicleAccessoryReviews.com. Today we're going to show you how to clean your engine air filter. The engine air filter is there to block out harmful solid particles of dust, dirt, pollen and airborne grime from entering the engine to ensure that only clean quality air passes. The majority of cars have disposable air filters but if you have a performance car or a vehicle with aftermarket engine components you most likely have a permanent air filter also known as a reusable air filter or washable air filter. As is the case here, this is an air raid filter. Permanent air filters provide better airflow and better filtration. Permanent air filters come with a do not discard warning sticker placed directly on or near the filter stating very clearly that the air filter is not disposable and to not remove this sticker. If ever someone is working on your car for example, just so they don't throw the filter away by accident. So when do you clean them? Permanent air filters need to be cleaned once they look very dusty or dirty. Normally this is every 20,000 to 30,000 miles. This model here needs to be cleaned. It normally has a brick red color and currently it's looking like a dark gray. So the dirt will appear as a thick gray or blackish film covering the exterior of the filter. But if you live in a rural area with dirt roads or drive often on construction sites or do a lot of off-road driving, the air filter will get dirty much more quickly than with normal city highway driving. This is why it's important to inspect it regularly. Air filters should not be cleaned with regular soap and water as they require a special cleaning solution that will not damage the filtration material. Also air filters need to be oiled every time they're cleaned to ensure optimum filtration. We recommend getting a filter tune-up kit that goes with your specific model, filter model and produced by the same manufacturer. This here is an Air Raid filter tune-up kit that goes with the Air Raid filter that we have. Seeing that a filter only needs to be cleaned every 20,000 mi 20, to 30,000 miles, one kit should last you a long time, maybe even for the life of your car. So when it's time to clean it, the first thing you're going to want to do is pop open the hood and locate the air filter. Now normally some air filters have a housing cover, a black square plastic housing cover that will hide the air filter. The cover would normally be here. In this case this filter here is exposed, it's open, but if ever this is your first time and you're not sure, just look for the end of the tube, of the air intake tube, that opposite from the end that faces the engine. It will lead you to the housing cover which you can remove by taking off a few clips. In this case it's exposed, so now the next thing you want to do once you've gotten it exposed is to unscrew the, uh, the ties, unscrew the clamps to loosen the air filter, which is what we're going to do here. You don't need to remove them, all you need to do is loosen them. This one. Let's see if that's enough. And there we go. This is your dirty air filter. It's quite dusty, quite dirty, definitely due for a good cleaning. Alright, so now let's take it in, get this, get this uh, filter cleaned. So here we are, we've removed the air filter from the air intake tube, and we're now going to go ahead with cleaning it. So to clean it, what you're going to need to do is use this filter cleaner solution. This one is by Air Raid. It's the same make as the air filter. It's designed specifically for this air filter. And we're going to spray it on until it's fully saturated. And then we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. So let's do it.
important to really get it saturated. Alright, so now we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now that the uh, filter cleaning solution has seeped in. So now it's time to rinse it. So we're going to use a uh, low pressure tap water or low pressure hose over a sink or over a sewer all depending on where you're doing it and you're going to rinse it inside out. So here we go. And you're going to want to rinse it until the water runs clear. We're going to make sure the water is clean. One more pass. All right, so that's pretty good. And now we're gonna let want to let it sit for till it's dry. Normally, uh, drying time can vary. But we recommend a full 24 hours just to be on the safe side. All right, so the filter has been sitting out for about a day now, so we can safely say that it's dry. Now the final step before reinstallation would be to apply the filter oil. So it would come in this application here. This is an aerosol can. And uh, this is the filter oil. You're going to want to apply it uh, evenly throughout the outside of the filter. You're going to want to apply it, uh, go easy with it. Don't apply too much. You have to be careful not to over oil. So once you've done this, you just let it sit out for about 20 minutes to let the oil seep in. And then you're ready to have it reinstalled. So let's go for it.
So we're going to let it sit there for about 20 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes since we sprayed on the oil and we're getting ready to install it back to the air intake tube. As you can see, it's regained its original red color. You can still see some of the oil and it's clean and ready to be reinstalled. So let's do it. It's tight. So the installation is complete. Now, one thing we recommend you do is to write the date and vehicle mileage when the cleaning was done and to keep this note inside the filter cleaning kits box. So as you can see, cleaning the air filter is incredibly simple and the benefits of better throttle response, better airflow and improved mileage all make it worthwhile. If you have a permanent air filter, this is another easy job that pretty much anyone can do at the same time as you do your oil change or, or any other seasonal maintenance. Just allow a day where you can go without using your car with a total work time of roughly about 30 minutes and you'll be all set with a clean air filter. Good for the next 20,000 miles. In the long run, this simple task could help prevent potentially serious and costly engine problems.